Hello, this is Robert from Microchip. In today's video, I'll be discussing the new Analog Peripheral Manager, or APM for short, found in the PIC18 Q71 family of microcontrollers. More information about this peripheral and the device family are included in the links below. The objective of the APM peripheral is to save power by automating the turn on and turn off of analog peripherals independently of the CPU. Every peripheral left on and idling uses some amount of power. This is where the APM comes in. It can automatically enable an analog peripheral, run it for a set length of time, and then turn it back off again while the microcontroller remains asleep. In this device family, the APM has two start and two stop events that can be generated for more complex behavior. The peripherals enabled or disabled at each event are configurable for flexibility. To understand how the APM can be used in an application, let's consider a hypothetical example. Let's say I'm building a low power temperature monitor and I want to measure the temperature once per minute and log whenever the temperature is above or below a certain value. I'm using a resistance temperature detector, or RTD, sensor element, which changes resistance according to the temperature. To measure the RTD, I'll use one of the op-amp peripherals in the microcontroller to build a constant current bias source. I'll also need to use an on-chip digital-to-analog converter, or DAC, and a fixed voltage reference, or FVR, peripheral. Then, the analog-to-digital converter with computation and context will measure the differential voltage across the RTD. In this example, without the APM, I would have to leave the op-amp, DAC, FVR, and ADC enabled to automatically sample while in sleep, but with the APM, we can perform the following sequence in sleep. First, the APM will enable the op-amp, DAC, FVR, and analog side of the ADC. Then, it will wait a few microseconds for analog values to settle. The APM will then enable the digital side of the ADC. A trigger source, probably from an internal timer, will then start the ADC conversion. After sufficient time has passed for the conversion, the APM shuts down the peripherals and waits for the next cycle. This saves a significant amount of power over the long term. Without the APM, Either the CPU would have to manually enable and disable each peripheral, or the peripherals would have to be left enabled, which wastes power. In this example, let's overestimate dramatically and say it takes a whole second to perform everything. That's still a 60 times reduction in power draw from these peripherals if you consider the ratio of on time to off time in this example. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about the PIC18 Q71 family or about the APM, please see the links in the video description. Please like and subscribe to get more content from this channel.